so it is another day which means another shot and i haven't made anything for breakfast so my chaser today is going to be leftover pasta that i'm taking to work for lunch where's my water I dropped some pasta. Pasta for breakfast? Maybe. It is. 10 p.m. We're getting ready to leave for work. Tonight is my later night. Because I work at 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, I'm just taking this to work. For lunch my disappointing pasta and I made some breadstick things which actually kind of got burnt on the bottom so last night's dinner wasn't my favorite but I don't like to waste food but yeah I don't even think I'm gonna eat before I go to work so I'm not really that hungry I will take some dates and we'll see what else I eat today so on the way home from work today Josh and I saw um, the trucks that pick up the animals and take them to the slaughterhouses. There was one in front of us and then two heading in the opposite direction. And the one in front of us ended up, I think, making a U-turn and there was nothing in it. Uh, I have a video from my Snapchat. I'm probably going to insert it here. If you're not following me, go ahead and follow me because, you know, you get to see a lot of this guy. Mingo! Licking his... <laughs> what are you doing? I started crying because there's like, I don't know if it's just me, but as a vegan, there's periods like maybe a month or two, maybe three months where I'll go without really watching any videos about animals being slaughtered, that type of thing, because it, it gets to be too much. So it's like, I have to kind of take a break from it. And then seeing the trucks today made me, I just started crying because I was so upset. So I started watching this video yesterday. And I love, love, love watching Bite Size Vegan because everything she does, there's a cat playing in the background. Everything she does is so well informed and she does her research. And every time I watch one of her videos, even though I think I finally know everything, which I don't know why I think that, I always learn something new. And I just wish that we could have everyone in our life just watch one or two documentaries because it would open their eyes so much more than us just saying things or eating the way we do in front of them because people at work make fun of me a lot and it's like they'll like send us memes or they'll like joke about it the other day at work this one girl apparently hit 12 baby turkeys and a whole group of my coworkers and manager were all standing there laughing and when I walked up they were trying to explain it to me and someone was like oh no she's gonna cry yeah, I wanted to cry, but I just got out of there as soon as I could because I didn't want them to see me get upset because basically what I wanted to do was cuss them all out and say, why are you laughing? Because somebody killed 12 innocent baby animals. Like, why is that funny? It's like people just don't get it. Anyways, I'm watching this right now. I think I was going to say something else and I forgot. But yeah. It's supposed to be my Friday, but I have to work six days this week. So I'm terrible because I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be filming, but I'm making a chili right now and that includes V8. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the rest or some of this, I don't think the rest of it, but this veggie soup mix that I got from my old job on clearance. <laughs> it's by Bob's Red Mill. And in here we have my leftover rice, dark red kidney beans, which I rinsed 
chili beans, which I did not rinse, and black beans, which I rinsed. So it's all in there. See, there's my rice and all the beans and the V8. And then we're going to add this stuff. Um, I wanted to put potato in here. And I only had like five small ones left. And when I went to peel them, there was a rotten one in there. So it stunk up all the other ones. So I wasn't going to use that. And this is cold. My Instant Pot inner pot. Because it was in the fridge with their leftover rice. I'm letting it warm up just a tiny bit before turning the pot on. Also, I actually don't know if it's healthy to be eating leftover rice that was cooked three days ago or four and putting it in a new recipe. But hey, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Diarrhea? <laughs> you get that from chili anyways. I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is what's going to happen. We'll see how this turns out. This looks like a lasagna. <laughs> oh shit. I don't think I put enough juice in it. I don't know what this is now. Fuck. Come look at this. 